Gamecock Chatter, visit with Gamecock senior running back, Tremaine Pope. I call you Buster all the time. So what's your preference, Tremaine or Buster? Pope or Buster, it don't matter. Team, they, the team's starting to call me Pope now, so I go by Pope a lot. When you came in, it was Buster. Where did that come from? Uh, my grandma gave me that name before I, be, before I was even born. But I was like, I, my grandma and my, my mother were finna get ready to have me. My grandma said, oh, Buster at the hospital. And that's what she always told me. So ever since then, I've just been going by Buster. Is it hard to believe that this is it now? This is your senior season? Yeah, it is. It's really it flew by. Like, I wasn't ready for it to come this fast. But a lot of people told me it was going to go by fast. So now I see how fast it really go by. But I really enjoy my time being here and just having fun playing football and then the whole college experience. From a personal standpoint, your first three years, are you happy with the way you've produced so far? Um, not really happy, but I'm blessed. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people don't get to do a lot of things that I don't done up here. So I wouldn't say that I'm just so happy with it, but it's, it's okay. I'm blessed to say that I've done a lot of things up here. But I would like to have done a lot more than what I did and just – been a little more focused on what I ever been, but now I understand that just come from me being young and now I'm growing up and experienced a lot, so I know how to handle the season and handle a lot of things that I was going through back then. I was thinking first game in Arkansas, you had a touchdown uh, in that first game against Arkansas in your in the the first college game you played in. Mm-hmm. The first game that was um, Arkansas had a good touchdown, but a lot of my teammates don't remember that. They remember when I got hit and I had fumble. <laughs> yeah, that's they talk about a lot. But, yeah, that was a great experience to go down there in Arkansas and score. Uh, score my first time ever touching the ball. That was just a great experience for me and my family and my mom and them. And I really enjoyed it. And I just really – it was really a blessing, to be honest. All right. No Demarcus James this season. Are you looking to get more carries, more touches throughout the year? No Demarcus James. I mean, I feel like I, I could get the job done. But me and Miles, we just going to have to get ready, get ready to grow. But without Demarcus James, I feel like – I should get more carries, but I'm not the coach. But we're gonna um, we're gonna do our job. Would you like to get it 20, 25 times a game? I would love to get it 20, 25 <laughs> times a game. Maybe Eli will see this. Yeah, Eli. <laughs> yeah, Eli might 20, 25. Pull my reads. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just ready to take over, pick up what he left from, and hopefully do bigger things the way he did here. Well, you mentioned Miles, you two guys, and then Josh Clemens comes in. There's been a lot of competition there uh, yeah, so far in the camp, hasn't yeah, it? There have been a lot of competition. Like, we being fam, talking about each other. Like, we just have fun in that now. Like, if we see something that um, we did wrong, we'll correct each other. But then, like, if we get hit or something, we're going to laugh at you now. We're going to talk <laughs> about you. Like, we just have fun in that now. Like, if somebody try to shake somebody in there and the move kind of weak, I'm like, we're going to laugh at you and tell you, like, that move a week or something like that, man. But now it's just a joy to be around them guys. And I know, like, so many different personalities in the running back room now. What is it like going against that number one defensive unit in practice and going through camp against them? I love – I really love going against the defense. Like, I don't like to go against the second team, like, because I would just love to compete. And I feel like them guys going to compete every play. And I, like, just – like, they they help me so much as a – they develop me this – count more and I don't ever develop because I was just able to go against them every day with me being the one and they just taught me like not I'm like at, at the beginning of the camp I was hitting the holes late and they were closing on me now at like the end I'm hitting the holes like I'm I'm reading the holes I'm seeing it before it happened and they and with them being so fast over there and big they helped me out a lot with that all the coaches I've talked to said this is the best camp that you've had. Are you in better shape, uh, just more focused going into the senior season? I feel like I'm more focused. It's time for me to just provide for my daughter and my family. I'm tired of my mom getting up at 2 and 3 every morning to go to work just to take care of me and my daughter. So now it's like it's time for me to take care of my mom. And I feel like if I do what I could supposed to do on this football field, and I should, and I should, and I just been taking a more serious approach to the game. And understand, like, I, my, my ability catching up my mind, really. Because I, I used to didn't think, like, I was good or that good. But now I understand, like, I'm pretty good. So now I need to focus in and, and just do what I got to do to take care of my mom and my daughter. A lot of excitement about Saturday and opening the season at Chattanooga. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm real excited to go to Chattanooga. Like, I just – I'm just ready to have a big game and just ready to go out there with my teammates. We've been, I've been so ready to just go out there and play a game. Like, 
I was up last night to about five because I just couldn't sleep. I'm sitting here thinking about the game all night. And then I'm just – it's just fun to go out there and just play against them. Even though I came in my freshman year hearing all the hype and they don't like each other, we don't like each other, and we still don't like each other. So it's just like it's a big game to me, and then we rank in the top ten. So this one of them FCS top ten matches like North Dakota State and Montana. So I really feel like it's going to be a good game, and I'm ready to go out there and play against them with my team. Thank you, sir. Good luck Saturday. Good luck this season, man. Thanks. Thank you. Tremaine Pope, Buster, Jacksonville State senior running back here on Gamecock Chatter. Gamecocks kick off against Chattanooga Saturday afternoon, 5 o'clock at Finley Stadium. Catch all the action on our Gamecock Sports Network.